What's up YouTube and my dear subscriber here is the new video uh, free energy generator from all washing machines motor this is the motor from all washing machines I have altered this I have altered this into free energy generator today I will show you and demonstrate you with with these energy savers This video is just for demonstrating and showing to you guys that it's is it really works or not. I will upload a new video soon that is a part 2 video uh, in which I will show you how do how I alter this and I will open this motor and show you guys the rotor and every what 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 do what did I alter in this and I will show you step by step in the next part 2. You guys subscribe my channel and like this video and comments on it guys I do not know how to speak English but I will try my best so this motor gives alternate current AC current when we when we want to uh, convert this uh, AC current to DC means direct current we use this bridge we use this bridge rectifier to convert AC current to DC current in one spin this motor in one spin it gives uh, uh, 20 to 25 volt AC current so we can convert this AC current to DC current as we want and I will show you in multimeter how it works now it's time to check the voltage in one spin with multimeter Do not let them touch to together. Keep this away from each other. Look at the multimeter. <coughs> Guys, you see 36 volt. 26. 25. In one spin it gives 25 volt AC current. So when we keep moving this and this uh, rotor when these rotors will keep spinning and moving so it will give continue voltage and uh, it will keep giving us the desired voltage more speed more voltage so now we are going to check the DC current with the help of bridge rectifier now I am connecting these wires to the AC side of bridge and this one is the negative and this is the positive one move the selector to DC volt now this is DC you can see in one spin it gives 12 volt sometime 12 20 22 22 this is the DC current 22 in one spin you can increase the speed of this rotor and the voltage will also increase so now we will check this LED plates with this is the DC 12 volt these both are both are the 12 volt and it uh, operate on 12 volt DC current so we will check with this first we will check one you guys you guys can see this is glowing Here is the daylight so it's not looking I hope you will see that it's glowing and blinking like So now guys you can see 
these LED LEDs are glowing and now we will check them together both of them now I have connected both of them and now check it you can see it's working and the LEDs are glowing now what we you guys can see that the lights turn off quickly as I as I rotate the uh, rotor so it turns off the quickly light so I will use a capacitor I have made this these are 2200 and 2200 microfarad and 6 volt capacitor these are 6 16 volt capacitor sorry 16 volt capacitors and uh, I have connected solder it with parallel so now I am going to connect these two and uh, when I will spin this slowly the LED will remain glow the LED will remain glow and slowly it will turn off you can see this is without this is without capacitor observe this and now I am connecting this the positive one will go to positive side and the negative to negative Now let now what let's see what's going. Observe on the LED what was before and after of capacitors. What changes are made? You guys can see the LEDs are keep keep glowing and turn off slowly. So this was before and after capacitor. This runs also on DC and AC currents. This is the free energy generator. So now we will check the 220. Now we will check 220 AC volt with this energy generator. Step by step I will check one by one and at last we will check for these four energy savers at a time and see what's going happen let's go guys you can see this this one is 25 volt and 220 volt now we will check this one saver energy saver with our free energy generator now I'm connecting this is the AC current. It's, it uh, runs on AC so I am directly connecting this one. No, no need of bridge anything. So I have connected both of these wires to AC. Now it not, not glowing. You can see it's not glowing in one spin. It needs a high current. Not a high current. It needs a high voltage. Just observe on the light, it will glow quickly and turn off quickly. So, observe on the light, please. You guys can see it glows. Once again, I will check it, I will try it, and you guys can see this. Now, I will connect one more energy saver with this. Now I have connected uh, two energy savers. Both of them are uh, 25 watt. And the sum of these two energy savers is uh, 50 watt. So now observe on the energy savers. You guys can saw that the both of them are blue. I don't know how to speak English but I am trying with my best (laughs) 
now I am connecting four four energy servers at a time and let's go how it done how it works guys just look on these four energy servers and these are these wires are more dangerous very dangerous keep your hands away from this it gives a 220 volt means 220 volt it is very dangerous for human that can kill you and you may be injured with this so be very careful from these wires don't touch both of them wire it's just like your public voltage in AC wall circuit don't touch this now observe these four servers maybe it works but I'm going to try just observe on it you guys saw that this one I think was not blocked maybe there is a problem with holder so I'm try again I'm going to try again Yes, four of them are blown. So this is the free energy generator means when you you can use this as a turbine. The blades will move by the wind and it will give keep uh, continue your voltage and gives you a uh, voltage. You can use as a wind turbine and you can uh, also connect this to the engine with coupling. I don't know more but uh, this is good and you guys subscribe my channel and like this video if you like hope you will you would enjoy this video and like my video and share this comments down below that uh, what uh, what improvement uh, do I need for this and in and I will upload a new video part 2 in that video I will show you how do I, how did how I made this and what change, what changes I made to this I will show you step by step I will open this all uh, motor uh, means motor I will not call this at a time motor it's like a dynamo it's a dynamo so I will open this and step by step I will show you what uh, things I made and I uh, how I alter this how what changes do I made in this uh, motor and converted it to free energy generator so thumbs up for this dynamo and like my videos i will upload a new video for you guys that will part 2 coming soon thanks